What is your vision for ITR now? Uh, where do you see the institute in five years from now? See, I believe that IIT Roorkee has the potential, and in many directions, it has already shown that to be in the top three or four institutes of the country, mm -hmm. right? That is clearly uh, within reach. Uh, 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 the, the efforts of the students and faculty have shown that it is clearly within reach. But when I say within reach, I also am trying to say that we are still not there, hmm. right? Yes, sir. So we have to make sure that uh, if we focus more on doing the core things well, core things well means that if we are focusing on research, let us not focus on too much of research. Let us focus on quality research. Hmm. Let us focus on taking whatever we do to its maximum impact. Hmm. Instead of doing something, leaving it, starting something new. That is something that you have to avoid. Take up something and yes. take it till you can extract whatever maximum you can extract from there. Okay. Here I mean that if there, it is possible to uh, patent it, do that patenting process. If it is possible to commercialize it, do that commercialization. If it is possible to create a company, create a company out of it. That entire facilitation mechanism is in the institute. As you know, institute has been taking care of entire patenting expenses. Mm, yes, sir. Right? We introduced that four and a half years back. And, and you can see that the number of patents have been increasing at a very rapid pace. I think we, we can easily do double of what we are doing. Okay. We, we are still, I think, uh, 50, uh, working at 50% capacity. So, you are thinking that we are not harnessing our true potential right now? No, still that awareness gap is there. Okay. It's still that uh, direction orientation correction is required. So it because we become satisfied with, with the publication in journals, hmm. while actually we must not be satisfied with that, we must also work in direction of creating patents and also going one step ahead to create commercialization wherever possible. That will not happen in every patent, hmm. but wherever it is possible. Okay, if that future. change is inevitable, yes. that is happening. But whether it will happen in five years or can you do it in three years, that is the whole thing. So, so recent years, I would say we have we have improved at a very rapid pace. Hmm. Can we maintain that pace, or maybe can, we can even hasten that pace in the years to come? Uh, so, the moment the year you joined here, uh, there was this these restrictions on girl students, and uh, it was in your tenure only that like, those restrictions were uh, lifted. So, can you tell us a bit background on what, what was that and what was the context and what was admin's perspective on it? See, actually, uh, the week that I joined IIT Roorkee, I think uh, towards the end of that week, uh, some girl students came and met me. Hmm. Uh, they said that uh, there is a timing restriction in the hostel and they are allowed to come back to the hostel by that time. And then they are not allowed to go back without taking permission. They need permission to go out. So I said, uh, because I have joined only very recently, so I am not aware of this. Uh, you give me some time to find out uh, uh, what is the current rule and, and what is the rationale and whether there is a need for change. Hmm. Uh, I said, I cannot promise you anything, but I can only say that I will study what, what is the current system and I will see what, what best can be done. So they heard me patiently and, and they said that is fine. And then I started talking to all the concerned uh, functionaries, uh, the concerned deans, uh, the professors in charge of security and, and started taking their opinion as to what is the current provision and what is the background for that and, and, and why we cannot change it. N many apprehensions were expressed that we, we need to continue with the status quo. Mm. Uh, we should not uh, change it. Uh, the apprehensions were mainly because uh, people felt that uh, security is very important and, and we cannot uh, we cannot compromise on security which was quite a genuine concern i must say that security cannot be compromised which is true and uh, but during the course of these frequent meetings i was doing those meetings quite frequently it became clear that uh, it is possible to remove these restrictions without compromising on the security hmm. And in fact, it's, it is probably something more to do that 
uh, when we have something, we become very comfortable with it. Uh, and so, we probably feel that any change may, may create a big issue. Uh, sometimes it is not like that. And so, after several rounds of meetings and discussions, it, it became obvious and clear to all the members of the team that I think the time has come for us to change. And I was very happy that when all my team members, the deans and the professor in charge, they all agreed. Uh, they all agreed to it. And then we issued a notification that it will be not be there. In fact, we made it clear that there will be no discrimination between boys and girls. Uh, both are allowed to go to their common areas, mm -hmm. not to the private, I mean the rooms, mm -hmm. but to the common areas they can go. And also, if uh, a boy, a student can go to any part of the campus 24 hours, any time of the day or night. Same thing can be done for the girl also. Uh, campus community, there were apprehensions uh, and I understand the apprehensions when it was done. But overall, the campus community has been extremely supportive of um, this and other changes uh, that we have tried to introduce in the last few years. And I'm happy that uh, it has come to stabilize and uh, the change was not only in IIT Roorkee but it created a kind of a um, I would say cascading effect in the entire region around this. Mm. Uh, we got uh, a lot of attention in the media and a lot of institutions other than IIT Roorkee also followed IIT Roorkee. Mm. So in that sense uh, I would say the the role model IIT Roorkee became a in some sense a, a role model in this aspect also. Mm. That in terms of um, giving uh, importance to both the genders, equal importance, that was required. So it happened and naturally the girls were very happy and, and they actually celebrated that day. There were a lot of celebrations. Uh, changes are possible, but it needs homework. Hmm. Uh, and if you do homework, people see the, I mean, everybody in the team also understands that the time for change has come or and when you change, it is not to say that whatever was there in the past was not correct. I think in the past, what was there, it was as per their needs of that time. Hmm. Today, there is a different time. We must change as per the today's time. Hmm. And so, so these changes can be done by, by involving all the stakeholders, by doing discussions, by, by making awareness level higher and higher. And, and also by carefully modulating the pace of the change. Uh, okay, so uh, like when you come, this was one of the roadblocks of the institute. Uh, so are there uh, any other roadblocks that you see? See, I would say that there are globally accepted best practices hmm. for higher education. Right? It is not about IIT X or University X. It is about a globally accepted best practice. And I am very happy and satisfied that my institute, IIT Roorkee, has adopted almost all the globally accepted best practices. Hmm. I'll give you several examples. See, for example, uh, in among the faculty, uh, there is no system that uh, uh, there is a junior faculty or there is a senior faculty, right? It is like every faculty has some specialization in which he or she uh, brings value to the department. Hmm. Uh, there will be an area of research in which he or she is known uh, globally amongst the peer group. And uh, depending on the kind of research that faculty does or the kind of projects that faculty does, uh, he or she is known. It has very little role whether what is the age of the faculty, what is the academic designation of the faculty. So this is known as a as a flat system that means there is no hierarchy in the faculty hmm. so it it reflects in many ways for example if you go to the website of any department you will see all the names of the faculty appearing alphabetically yes sir right hmm. if you look at the minutes of any meeting the names of the faculty appear alphabetically hmm. so this is what is known as a flat system that means there is no hierarchy right. now what it does is it empowers every faculty to contribute to the system hmm. Nobody feels that he is less responsible, nobody feels he is more responsible, everybody feels equally responsible. Hmm. Whether I am senior, whether I am junior, whether I am two years into the system or whether I am close to retirement, right? I, I have a voice, I have an equal voice as anybody else. Hmm. I can make a difference to the system just like anybody else. 
so because this empowerment happens so it it leads to the growth of the department and naturally to the institute okay. itself so so that kind of globe, i mean this practice has been adopted in in in, in iit uk uh, then if you look at uh, the student participation mm -hmm. now when we go to the class when you go to the laboratory when we go to the exam hall uh, wherever we go who which is the party that the faculty is interacting with it is the students so naturally one part of the story is with the students just like the teachers carry one part of the story hmm. right they have their impressions that this should be taught this is the manner it should be taught this is the time where manner in which assignments should should be done this is the manner in which exam should be done right they have a view hmm. right similarly the students also have a view hmm. and how do you create a system which is good by hearing both parties so what has iit roorkee done in that in that direction in the senate of iit roorkee now we have student representatives who present the students side of this any topic under discussion okay and because of this we were able to bring in several changes general secretary academic affairs yes. uh, ug is there general secretary academic affairs pg is there convener sac is there a phd representative is there so they all uh, can can give their uh, view of things their mm. perspective of things and in fact uh, i remember that several uh, 2018 19 17 several uh, general secretaries actually worked closely with me also in creating agenda items in doing the homework because i would always say don't take anything to the senate unless you have done the homework hmm. so create the right background create the right document whatever change you want and because the students did lot of hard work so lot of changes were brought about in the in the academic system also i mean whatever they thought was required hmm. and and so so we have been able to take advantage of the viewpoint of students okay we have been able to benefit from the presence of the students so you know your department now you have dpc and drc yes. there also we have student representatives yes, of course uh, i must also say at this time that uh, many student representatives did not realize their role initially hmm. not everybody realized their role some realized some did not realize and so at some point uh, we did a meeting with all the student representatives in the senate that right? what is the purpose and what is your role so the role is that you express your view point in a free and frank manner hmm. the role is not to um, to make sure that whatever you think is accepted hmm. it may or may not be accepted hmm. because there are other people also who have a view but it is important that you present your view and that cannot be done unless you understand the whole issue hmm. and that cannot be done unless you do good homework uh, maybe i can i can highlight a few more th for example uh, many times i have i have heard our students use the word admin yes sir or administration yes sir right i advise them don't use the word admin or administration hmm. right you are also a part of it because you also sit in those committees you have access to the dean you have access to the director you can write an email to the director you can write an email to the dean and it is not that the uh, the deans or the directors are divorced or insulated uh, from the students and and that uh, they live in a different world and you live in a different world and they decide completely from their point of view only without talking to you without hearing you without listening to you so don't use the word administration you say if you want to say you can say institute mm -hmm. you can say iit rudki you can say institute has decided this don't say admin has decided this because it gives the feeling as if you are not a part of it mm -hmm. like that, that way iit rurki loses something if the student feels that he or she is not a part of the decision making process of iit rurki that is a loss to iit rurki second thing i would say is that uh, while our, amongst our faculty uh, we have been very clearly able to uh, lay down that there is very little hierarchy there in fact there is i would say no hierarchy because everything as i said is Uh, done either alphabetically or and in fact we also do not mention the academic designations of of the faculty members so we don't mention assistant professor or associate professor or professor we just refer to every faculty as professor x professor y that way we we do that that has been very empowering because we are able to harness the uh, the the wisdom of every faculty i want a similar thing among students also students are still having lot of this culture of sir hmm calling your senior sir and ha see sir is not the best way to pay respect 
sir brings in you i mean it brings in some kind of a inferiority uh, some kind of a barrier between the two it brings some kind of an inhibition hmm. between your between friends between students there should not be any inhibition or barrier between two students are talking it it brings some kind of a hesitation in the conversation so if, if this year when i addressed the uh, students who joined the first year students hmm. this is one request i made them okay that we, if we want to i mean continue forward on this march towards greater uh, empowerment uh, greater uh, progress in the institute i think uh, when it was used sir it was maybe at that time it was fine in today's time if the students call refer to each other as sir or ma'am hmm. uh, it, it 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 those barriers should go away those inhibitions should go away there should be free discussion hmm. the more discussion is free the the better is the outcome hmm. right it is not that uh, because you are in the second year hence you you everything that you say is inferior to what a third year student says hmm. that is not true hmm. many times my student tells something that that i have not thought of i learn from my student right so why can't a third year student learn from a second year student i mean why create these barriers similarly even in even in the conversation that we had just now you are referring to us as college i mean we are a, we are an institute yes sir why use the word college we, we should say iit we should say iit rudki hmm. i mean the, i mean let's not use the word admin let's not use the word sir or ma'am let's not refer to this as college another word that uh, that we can get rid of in our Uh, usual uh, discourse is the word authority mm-hmm. many many people i have seen using the word authority authority has decided this ha i mean authority is somebody inaccessible invisible who is inaccessible or invisible in iit rurki no one is no one is in- inaccessible nobody is invisible i mean it is true that sometimes what you want is not accepted ha. that is true it is true that sometimes what you suggest is declined mm-hmm. that is true because the buck has to stop somewhere mm. either the dean will take a decision or the director will take a decision or the senate will take a decision or the board will take a decision mm. the buck will stop somewhere right but that doesn't mean that you you refer to that someone or some entity as an authority okay i mean these are the things that weaken our institute these are the things that that can that can take that one extra mile that is required in addition to what the globally ex- accepted best practices we have taken hmm. if we can do away with these three four things that i have mentioned hmm. i think it will be a big leap forward that that dream of in the top 3 or 4 institutes of the country will be within reach within a very short time of 3 4 years some part of the uh, institute's old culture has been lost and uh, now i guess it is the best time to adopt all these practices and adopt a new culture as what you have said see never think that these changes are as if they are uh, abrupt hmm. or they are like uh, sudden it is not that uh, uh, we are saying that uh, that everything in the past was not good there there are several good things we must uh, as you say don't uh, throw the baby with the water hmm. right uh, with the bucket when you throw the bucket water don't throw the baby with that so retain the good things right and the changes are not like abrupt but there is a time for change so those time for changes is there uh, you have asked actually two separate questions so let me first answer the covid part see it is very true that during covid the gap between the teachers and students increased hmm. and similarly the gap between the wardens and the deans and the students also increased and similarly the gap between the director and the students also increased hmm. at every level that increased and every time there is a gap it leads to some kind of uh, apprehension some kind of a mistrust some kind of a feeling of uh, uncertainty hmm. right these are not healthy things yes sir right so uh, now that uh, you all are back in the campus uh, you should make sure that you reach out to the concerned people more often more frequently if possible in person if not in person then over whatsapp or over email Over, over a telephonic conversation because we were meeting the students very frequently before the covid mm-hmm. right uh, uh, that kind of interaction or that kind of access between the students may, maybe it is uh, needed less now that is also possible uh, but i must say that covid has played a role in in sort of uh, 
somewhat interrupting the momentum that we had. Hmm. The, the the great momentum that we had in terms of student participation in all uh, decision making process of the institute that has been somewhat interrupted. Uh, but I would say the interruption is maybe 10-15% setback, not a big setback. Hmm. Uh, because even now email culture is there, even now students do write emails. But that in-person meeting, the physical meetings are, I mean, there is no substitute for them. Hmm, yes, sir. Right, just like today. Yes, sir. Right, today this is a physical meeting, in-person meeting. So, there is no substitute for that. Mm. So, so we must consciously work to address the gap that COVID has introduced. That is the first part of the question that you had asked. Yes. Right, we must do that. Second part is, yes, we must adopt these best practices as soon as we can, as smoothly as we can. Um, and, and the more we become aware that there is a need for it, it happens easily. So, what I am saying is that there is a need for it and I know that it will not be difficult to adopt. Hmm. It will be, it can be easily done. Yes. It, it will be done. Just like uh, other things uh, that I mentioned in the beginning, this thing can also be done. I think our students will be very quick to address it. Our faculty have been very quick to address it. I mean, in the faculty, this uh, culture of addressing sir has, has come down quite significantly. It has not completely gone away. It is still there. But it is coming down amongst the faculty. Okay, so amongst the faculty. Okay, I didn't know that. Ah, because, because you are not meeting when two faculty are talking or something like that. It is it is coming down. So similarly, there is a need to bring it down amongst the students also. And this is uh, to make sure that we we get the best out of everyone. The idea is only that. Yeah. The idea is nothing more than that. 